Okay, yes, y'all. What I'm going to do is we're live right right now. I'm going to leave out of the meeting to make sure uh, Scarlett's going to be on to make sure that because I'm going to pass the host to her to make sure that we're still functioning live. Okay. So I'm going to pass it to to uh, to my CR right now. Okay, Marcia, so you should be ready. I'm gonna leave out. Uh, All right. Yes, yeah, you go ahead and start. I'm out, I'm on Scala's phone. Okay. The Nazarene Hebrew Temple and Institute of Technology presents the secret relationship between Lamentations and West Africa. Uh, good evening, everybody. So I need y'all to get y'all pen hand uh, ready. I got to give y'all a few quotes. Come with a few quotes. Let me see. Old writings. It's a book called The Memoirs of the reign of Basa Ahadi, B-A-S-S-A-A-H-A-D-E-E, -E, King of Dahomey. This book is was written by uh, Robert Norris. I'm sure some of y'all are familiar with him. Uh, it was a few quotes, but I, I took one of them out of that. I needed y'all to see. He said, the seaport town of Wyda, W-H-Y-D-A-H, is designated by map and ancient eyewitness account as country of the Jews. Wrap your head around this. The seaport town of Wida is designated by map and ancient witness account as country of the Jews. Where do y'all see where Wida is at? Wider, W-H-Y-D-A-H. -H. They spell it a few different ways too over there. It's a kingdom on the coast of West Africa in the boundaries of, of the modern day nation Benin, B-E-N-I-N. -E -N. In other words, it's over near Nigeria. <laughs> It had a coastline of 16 kilometers or 10 miles. It was centered in a place called Savi, S-A-V-I. In 1727 AD, King Hafen, H-A-F-F-O-N, was deposed And Wider was conquered and annexed by the kingdom of Dahomey. Y'all got that? <clears throat> Everybody got that? Just taking notes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Just trying to make sure. King Agaja, A G A J A. He's the king of the homie that conquered Wider. Y'all got that? Got more. 
So, well, I, I'll wait. I'm gonna ask this question. Sir Humphrey Maurice, H U M P H R E Y, a member of parliament. <clears throat> He's known for being the foremost slave merchant of his day. In 1715 AD, while at London, England, he commissioned the slave ship wider. This stuff never ceases to get deeper, does it? Now they want they want us to just act like that none of this stuff happened. This is crazy. Woo. Forgive me. I don't mean to say crazy. Now, I should also say uh, that the country of why that it was that the slave ship was also named after the country and spelled like it. I got some more for y'all. A lot of the old records say this. There are three tribes over in Western Africa. Uh, uh, this has uh, recently been, uh, let's say, uh, surplanted. But this, it says that the Yoruba, the Ashanti, and the Iwi are the largest portions of slaves brought to the new world and that they parent stock is Hebrew. That was uh, in the book, Hebrew Heritage of Black Africa. I believe it's Stephen uh, S. Jacobs that wrote that book. In the 18th and 19th century, the slaves were mainly from areas where the tribes that was being enslaved, where the tribes were located at, was predominant Jewish roots, aka Hebrew Israelite roots. Y'all got that? Yes. Okay. All right. The homie. Watch this. Y'all ever heard of the Iwi and Togo? These are Hebrew Israelites. They observe the Sabbath amongst other Hebrew traditions. Now, they say Mawu, M A W U, which is Vodu, V O D U, or Yahweh, and it means great God. All right, let's get down to it. Lamentations, chapter one. Y'all ready? Yes. All right. Lamentation chapter one. We're going to start at verse one. Yeah, I want to see all of this. Oh, man, I... Live, y'all. Let's roll. Live, let's roll. 
Who yeah? Lamentations chapter one, verse one. How doth the city sit solitary, full of people? Is she become as a widow? She great among the nations, princes among the provinces. Is she become tributary? Y'all know what a tributary is? You pay tribute to them, like taxes and things like that. So who's 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 being paid uh, taxes at this this time or extortion fees at this time by it to Israel's paying? You say the same say it, yeah. Who are they paying the tributary the tribute money to? Um at this time, um uh, Babylon. I was I would guess the the whoever was in charge of this time was uh the Romans or something. Jeremiah Thomas, why would they Moya, y'all wake up now. Yeah, I heard situated. Somebody said something. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you to tell me who it is. I'm, I, I ain't going to say nothing until somebody else give me an answer. Well, and then I, I give uh, you. Say, uh, what's, the uh, what's the question, man? I'm old and I need an answer. <laughs> what's the question? I, I asked who would they have been paying tribute to? Uh -huh. Who would who be trained uh, in limitations? Oh, okay. That, that, yeah, that's that's written. Yeah, so that was right. That's written by uh by Jeremiah time. So yeah, and they was they was in the uh the time of uh the Babylon captivity. Right. Jeremiah right. two says the ninth year of uh King Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, so yeah. They was under Babylon. Yeah. yeah, two minutes is up. I got another I got another question. <laughs> Because we got to see, I'm not, you know, I stopped finding out who reading the scriptures. It's a lot of stuff going on, but people got to start studying the scriptures. Right. Just start studying. This is our, this is our history right here. We're supposed to know this. Right. Uh, good, good job, Sagar. Uh, uh, Brother Earth, uh, she was uh, true and accurate with that. Uh, Babylon, who's under the Babylonian affliction at this time? All praises to the most high. That's right. why I love my sister now. She's smart. Come on. Verse two. Do we know that uh, Jeremiah and Lamentations was one book? Yes. Oh, right, y'all getting all this knowledge, but y'all ain't telling me when, what, who we was under captivity with? You had another, you said you had another question. That was the question. I, I went ahead and asked it because I don't want to. I don't want y'all to think I'm picking on y'all. We, we appreciate. We appreciate that. Uh, well, now, I don't think now, you went now, over, now when I get it, now, everybody know it. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you went over with them how to how certain books is all one book. No, yeah. I told them that. Oh, you did. Oh. Yeah. Limitations is okay. I I, I I forgot. First and Second Chronicles together. Right. Okay. 
Right. Hey, come on, Claude. She we were so in the night and her tears on her on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she has none to comfort. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Yahweh is gone into captivity because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwelleth among the heathen. She findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. The ways of Zion do more because none came to the solemn feast. All her gates are desolate. What do you mean? What do that mean? Uh, uh, what does which part mean? What, nobody came to the feast or her gates are desolate? Yeah, to the solemn feast. To, oh, to the solemn feast. Uh, well, it sounds like they ain't make it to, uh, you know, one of the ones where you got to come back all year, you know, come back to the temple, uh, like Passover or, or something like that. I don't know which one, but one of the feasts where you got, uh, uh, try, you know, sojourn back to the to the temple and everybody's supposed to be at the temple. Oh, okay. That could be correct. I'm not sure on this one either, guys, yeah, but... When I see the word solemn feast, I'm assuming that's one of the three. Right. Right. All right. Look up number 4150 in the Strong's Records of Hebrew. All right. Okay, it's Moad, properly an appointment, fixed time or season, specifically a festival, appointed time, appointed feast, set solemn feast. Right. So now uh, y'all free to define what it is, now what y'all think it is. <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> It says tent of meeting. Well, in one it says tent of meeting. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, this is this is this is not one of the cog feasts, bro. It's, but it's not a, a cog. It's, it, it's a it's a feast day, but it's not a cog. No, oh, cog is the one. That's can't hear you fade now. Uh, I said a cog is where you have to travel to Jerusalem. So what is Moab then? What does that mean? That's a feast. Simply means feast. It's my weed. Okay. All right. So but your question was, you said what is solemn is. I asked what is a solemn feast. Oh, uh, okay. So, so, so it's just a regular feast. That's what they got it translated as and throw everybody out. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. <clears throat> the ways of Zion do more. No, no. Her adversaries are the chief, her enemies prosper. For Yahweh have afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. Who's her children? And first, who are they talking about? Who's her? We are. We the children. But who is her? Uh, Israel. Judah. Yeah, Judah, Israel. Come on. Uh, uh, um, and from and from the daughter of Zion, all her beauty is departed. Her princess. Or become like hearts, find no pasture, 
and they are gone without strength before the pursuer. They're running from the, uh, the, the Babylonians and the Nebuchadnezzar them. They was attacking us. Come on. We're in and captivity now. Let me ask y'all this question. What was the what was Lamentations written for? You said what was it why why was it written? What was it what does it uh, pertain to? Come on, y'all. Wake up now. We have to study. The lamentations means to lament. To no, no, no. Hold on. I ain't asked what it means. I asked y'all why was it written. Right. So I, that's what I was getting ready to say. I wasn't finished quite yet. Oh, I'm um, sorry for cutting you off. No, that's okay. Um, so with me saying that, it was like um, showing Jeremiah's um grief towards the condition of, of the people at this time. And the city. Mm -hmm. By all accounts, Jerusalem was a, uh, what we would call a uh, metropolis back in the day. To, to, for them to see it the way it looked when they destroyed it was a uh, heartfelt and pain taken to them. Right. It was also somewhat like judgment too, wasn't it? We can ready to get to that. Come on. Uh, Y'all Rashallah remembered in the days of her affliction and of her miseries, all her pleasant things that she had in the days in the, the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the when her people fell into the hand of the enemy. And none did help her. The adversary saw her, did mock at her Sabbath. Look, yeah, hold up. So you telling me that they was mocking about the Sabbath all the way back then? What what time is this anyway? Anybody know what time, what around what time this is in history? Look at everybody, everybody secretly scramming for their notes now. I didn't hear say ask your question, you not. I I'm, I couldn't. <laughs> I, I I'm going I'm going to um, jump out there a little bit and instead of trying to start trying to trying to, trying to cheat. I I want to say it's around five hundred and eighty something BC somewhere around there probably. What when lamentation was written? What was he asking? That's, that's what I asked. I, I was clear. I wasn't. I didn't stumble. Y'all heard me. Yeah, that's what I'm teaching. I, I didn't hear you. But I don't know. I, uh, I'm just trying to get us all on the same page so we can go and move forward. Lamentation was written once the city was destroyed. Like, look, this, this is this, look. I see this. We're gonna have to have a teaching on this too. What y'all studying now? Watch this. Look at Jeremiah fifty-two twelve. You get two different dates with this. Yeah. And Kings, right? Yeah, they almost the exact same day, but they like a day a day or so apart. But remember the letters was traveling. It's right. other it's other things too. Come on. 5212. Jeremiah, what again? Out 52 what? Verse 12. All right, now in the fifth month, in the tenth of the month, which the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Neb Nebuzar Adam, Nebuzar Adam, captain of the guard. Stop. Y'all need to write this down and commit it to memory that name. Everybody just listening, y'all need to write that name down.
He's the Babylonian that destroyed our temple and raised the city. Come on. Uh, Nebu. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, carried away. Yeah, hold up. Am I, is that the right story? Yeah. Captive of the poor of the people and the residue of the people that remain in the city. Hold, on, I, I, hold up. Go back to verse 12. I... Oh, yeah, that's what I thought I skipped. So y'all got to stay. Y'all got to focus. I can focus in on it. This is very important. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, y'all. All right. Uh, now in the I'm gonna start twelve. Over. Now in the fifth month, in the tenth of the month, which the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of the God, served the king of Babylon into Jerusalem. Y'all watching on, and burned the house of Yahweh and the king's house, and all the houses of Yahweh Rosh Hashanah, and all the houses of the great burned he with fire, and all the army of the Chaldeans that with the captain of the guard break down all the walls of Yahweh Rosh Hashanah round about. Why they do that? Uh, I don't know. They, why did they break the walls down? Why are they doing all of this? Come on, y'all. See, y'all. Tim, I want y'all to be involved. The walls is the protection of the city. Right. Oh, you you asking why is all of this transpiring? Period. Yes. Okay, I didn't know. I just sound like he was asking about the walls. Uh, uh no, I'm asking why all of it. The walls, okay. everything. Uh, I I don't know. I'm gonna learn on this one, but I mean, well, we ain't we wasn't following the <laughs> we wasn't being obedient. Y'all, why? Wow. That's one. <laughs> and uh. I don't know. I, they came to destroy the, the Jerusalem. Well, y'all are right I'm going to learn on this one. I'm going to be quiet. They, it was transpired that they were disobedient, and Yahweh uh, let them go back into captivity under this. This is why they were destroying everything. Do anybody know the root cause of this, though? It's something. Um, because it is specific to our uh, unique history that happened. It's a, it's a couple of seminal events that happened. And we need one was no almost part of the idol worship, right? That's always I mean it's, it's two things happened with two kings that this was it they kicked this all the way out. Two things that happened. Uh you talking about Kadar? No. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a Kaya. I ain't oh. showing them all the gold and all that. Somebody finally involved. Wow. <laughs> okay. On, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I heard y'all had, uh, you know, we're talking. Get out there. What else? So, was that one of the two? We're going to see. You said two. What people. else? What else you said? What else you send, what? I want to say uh, Manasseh, what he did with the uh, with the prophets. What he did with that. What y'all saying? Y'all y'all agreeing with it? Y'all ain't sure? Y'all need my help? Well, you know, you, you, you the question that you asked about, you asked if there's two key things that led to the destruction of 
of the temple and everything else they destroyed, right? That's your question. So it's I, these things I, that led up to this captivity, uh, that led Yahweh, they pushed it too far. Two I things. Thought, I thought definitely one of them was out of worship, and it's not. No. Okay. Not specific. I want I want specific. Oh, well, then you got to give us the answer. I, I guess we ain't gave you none of the answers yet. All right. First, before we go there, because I'm trying now, I see that we need to do a we need to do a study on this. That's that's all right. All right, Jehoi again too. The one that was disrespectful, to him. Yeah, but we know the main. We know what the what the real uh coup de gras was to this. Look at look at verse seventeen of Jeremiah fifty two first. Come on, y'all. What was the verse? Jeremiah 52, verse 17. Oh, my bad. It was, on, it was on mute. All the pillars of brass that in the house of Yahweh and all the bases and the brazen sea that was in the house of Yahweh, the Chaldeans break and carried all the brass of them to Babylon. The cauldron, the cauldrons also, and the shovels, and the snuffers, and the bowls, and the spoons, and all the vessels of brass wherewith they missing they ministered, took they took they away. And the basins and the fire pans and the bowls and the cauldrons and the candlesticks and the spoons and the cups. That which was of gold, gold. <laughs> and that which was of silver, silver, took the captain of the guard away. The two pillars, one sea, and twelve brazen bulls that under the basis which King Solomon had made in the house of Yahweh. The brass of all these vessels was without weight. And concerning the or and the pillars, the height of one pillar was 18 cubits. And if a and a fillet of 12 cubits did compass it, and the thickness thereof, four fingers, was hollow. It was right. hollow. Now, y'all should be able to tell me what, what was going on right here right now. Well, when they did, when they started burning down everything, what did they do? They started taking Take the step, furnishings man. of the tabernacle. What does that represent? What did, what did that represent? Uh, what is, I don't know. They were stealing. They came what? to steal. They came to take our gold. Right, they took all the treasures. The thrones, they hurt. They, uh, the second kings. We know they were still in. Huh? They came to, to, to destroy the city. Now, now you're going to tell me what I'm just saying. Did. You, I don't know. Never mind. I, I think he was looking for something like elaborate type of. If that, that, that was simple. I wasn't looking for nothing elaborate. I was looking for something simple like the answer. But let's get it now, though. We finna get it. Look, where we at? We're in 2 Kings chapter 20. All right. Got it. 12 down. At the time, Baradak Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present unto Hezekiah. For he had heard that Hezekiah had been sick. 
When they ever been our friends? Come on. And Hezekiah hearkened unto them and showed them all, all the uh all the house of his precious things. That's where he messed up at. <laughs> the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment and the house of his armor. And that was found in his treasures. There was nothing in his house, nor in his dominion, that Hezekiah showed them not. Then, then came Isaiah the prophet unto, unto King Hezekiah. Hold on. Now, hold up. Now, let's back up again now. Do I, you present? Yeah. Earth Dean, you present? Bear walk you on here? Yeah, I'm on here. My shot, are y'all listening? Yep. What just happened? He showed them all the treasures. He showed them everything. He took them to a safe out. Yeah. They now they, they don't sized up everything now. They know where the weapons is, they know where everything is. They figured they could take us. Now watch this. Look at verse what now. Watch this. Come on. Right. And Isaiah said unto Hezekiah, Hear the word of Yahweh. Behold. Verse 14. You skip, you know, you skipped oh, a lot of you skipped a lot of verses. I read verse 14. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto King Hezekiah and said unto him, What said these men? And from whence came they unto thee? Now listen, listen, hold up. Where did Isaiah come from? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Bear what? The why? Where is Isaiah? Why he just pop up on the scene? He, he's a prophet. He was a prophet. Right, he was a prophet. He was a prophet. That's it, he's a prophet. Huh? That's it, he's a prophet. That's y'all final answer? Well, I mean, he definitely knew something was going on. He popped up. And he definitely... How do prophets get their prophecies? Yahweh. So how did he get there? He was sent by Yahweh. We don't think, though. We don't have to listen. We don't have to see it. These is our writings. We supposed to know this. No excuse. We supposed to know it. It's our history. Come on. Good answer. Come on, Art. All right, Art. Right, right. Let's go. I'm yes, trying to get y'all woke. Hey, yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. Are you leading us up to the two and things that, because I still haven't heard it yet, so are you leading us up? You have it? You sure you have it? Well, well, uh, you do know, I gotta, do I gotta hold y'all hand for this? Oh, no, hold on, hold on, y'all. Now I'm listening, and and me and Dua gave you two answers. And you said those one wasn't it. So, I didn't say that. What did you say then? Huh? I, I just said let's read. Let's find out what he said. <laughs> All right, I, 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 mean, Lord, I don't know if everybody else is. I must be the only one that ain't paying listen, attention. Listen, I listen. Y'all, yeah. sometimes y'all, y'all, this is right in front of us right here. We reading this, whether this, these passages right now. I agree. What I, do I, it I, look like they did? All right. From, from here now, because I just want to make sure that we, because remember, we, we are, we saved now. We born again. We all that. But the things that we can use from our prior life, we supposed to use them. Our alertness, our awareness, our cunningness, our craftiness, we don't discard those things because they still useful. Yeah. What do this look like to us if we were still out there? Now you now you with me now? He took the man by his tip where he got everything laid up at. What happens generally when, when somebody make a mistake like that? Who ain't watching his surroundings unless somebody see him moving around? What happens? 
You get robbed. Somebody coming to get it. Come on, let's finish reading. Let's see if I can. Let's see if we can. Uh, we, we can't be too scholarly. We still got to hold on to what well, you know. What shaped us? Come on. Y'all uh, gonna see it. I ain't being mean or nothing. Y'all gonna see what I'm saying. Come on. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto King Hezekiah. How many times we gonna read this verse? Right? We, you, and Hezekiah said, y'all got to focus. I ain't talking that long with y'all lose focus where we at. Come on. I mean, we did a lot of talking in between. I, I got to tell y'all because y'all don't verse. know why y'all not uh, paying attention. This is right in front of us. Y'all too shy for this. Come on. It sound like, it sound like we having a, 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 a fight because I'm trying to get y'all to do Look at the scriptures and tell me what they say. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not speaking on that. I was just talking about when I when I read. I mean, if we stop and pause for a second, I'm gonna stop back off at the top of the verse, not start okay, off in the middle of the verse. Thank you. But sometimes it ain't necessary. I right? just stay focused. Come on. And Hezekiah said, "They are come far, from a far country, from Babylon." And he said, what have they seen in thine house? Listen, and hold this, up. Now this, it just said, Babylon is a far country from Israel. Y'all need to make notes of this. Come on. They are come from a far country from Babylon. He said, what have they seen in thine house? Hezekiah answered, all that in my house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. And Isaiah said unto Hezekiah. Listen, if we in, if we in the streets and somebody said this, what would y'all say about the dude that told y'all this? Right. He easy. Y'all see this? Good answer. Come on. Look what look what look what the prophet say after the, uh, the king tell him all of the uh, foolishness he just did. Watch this. And Isaiah said unto Hezekiah, hear the word of Yahweh. Behold, the day is come that all that in thine house and that which thy what do that mean? Now like, listen. So we now we right here at the prep. What does what is he saying that when he said, behold, the days come? What do that mean? Uh, prophecy. Who is this smart person that keeps answering all this stuff like this? Yes. These are y'all scriptures. Take hold of them. I gotta take hold of this. This is y'all stuff. Come on. Prophecy. This and Isaiah said, it's, right it's, it's nothing complicated about this. Y'all the ones say, I thought you were getting ready to show me something. No, it's right here. And I need answers. Come on. Behold, the days come that all that is in thy house and that which thy fathers have laid up and restored unto the day shall be carried into Babylon. Nothing shall be Tell left. What? Shall be what? Shall be carried into Babylon. Hold that. Remember that. Remember that. Come on. Nothing shall be left. Say Yahweh. And thy son that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away. Hold that thought. Come on. They shall be eunuchs in the palace. Of the king of Babylon. Then said Hezekiah unto Isaiah, Good, the word of Yahweh which thou hast spoken, and said, Not, if peace and truth be in my days. Let me ask y'all a question. Peace, huh? this, what does this tell y'all about Hezekiah? Eric. 
What else? It's something more specific than him being arrogant. But yes, he definitely was arrogant. Come on. When we get read, are you waiting for somebody to respond? I want to see who's going to respond. Right. You can respond if you know the answer. Whoever knows the answer, respond. Remember what he look what he look at what was just said so y'all can understand this. He said, and of your sons that shall issue from you, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away. And mm. they should be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babel. He's look, selfish. Look what he's he only said. worried about himself. Who said who is this smart person? That's he it. only he only care about himself. He's selfish. Long as it ain't me, I'm good. <laughs> wow. 21, chapter 21, verse one down. This is probably my fault though. What we probably should have been went over this. Hey, Bear Walk, what do you think so far? And he walked in all the way that his father walked verse in. Verse 21, chapter 21, verse 1 down. Y'all uh, read one of the pieces of the puzzle. Manasseh, 12 years old, when he began to reign. Is that possible? Yes, if it say so. Uh, uh, who does this tell that? Listen, do that suffice y'all right there? It's a, okay, it's, it's a bunch of little different teachers right here, but I need to know what y'all are retain. Where's the guy at? I ain't heard of it now either. Listen, uh, it said he was 12 years old when he began to reign as king. I asked, is that possible? Or do y'all need my help? Or do, do some of y'all know the answer? Uh, it's possible, but you gotta have a, a mentor, somebody that's over him. And who would that mentor be if, if, if uh, Cause he's still a child, so you got the high priest teaching. So you could, right? So we got the what? The high priest, the priest. Somebody else say something. Okay. I agree. Do y'all do y'all recall any witnesses to this, or any teaching in the scripture that deals with this? Come on, because y'all said this was low right here. Now we, we got a lot of stumbling going on for this to be low. This is 3,249 years after creation. Meditate on that. Come on, Bear Josiah. Y'all know this is possible. Y'all remember when, when, do we ever have a female rule of nation? Yep. What happened when she took over? She killed all the king's kids. Yeah, she started killing all the, all the males. From that, from that, from that lick right there, what came of that? They ended up taking um, her grandson and hiding him. Um, when they, then when they killed her, he became king, but he had a like a mentor, like an overseer. And it's, it's, hey, that's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm looking for, for y'all to understand. Yes, he can be king, but it's, it's a certain set of circumstances. We went over that. I just want to know that, that y'all doing something with these teachers. Good job. Come on. Mm. And his mother. Uh, if I'm, if I'm, listen, if I'm wasting y'all time, y'all just want me to give y'all a quick answer so y'all can seem like y'all uh, y'all know something. Then we can do that too. 
All right, come on. Uh, and his mother's name, Heaven C. Bach. What do y'all what do y'all notice about all the kings about about things like that when they describing who who who's next in land and all that? What do y'all notice? Isn't it remarkable how we kept such a detailed record of our genealogies? And the, and, the, and that the mother is mentioned what where she came from as well. So you can trace the bloodline. Look through Kings and you'll see it. Come on. That's more, that's more something for y'all to write down a note on so you can teach yourself how to study. You'll be, you'll be uh, shocked when you see what you come across. Come on. And he did evil in the sight of Yahweh after the abominations of the heathen, whom Yahweh cast out of the <laughs> children of Yahshua. For he built up again the high places which Hezekiah his father had destroyed. And he reared up altar for Baal and made a grove as the king Ahab, king of Israel, and worshipped all the host of heaven and served him. And he built altars in the house of Yahweh, <clears throat> of which Yahweh said, in Yahweh's law, will I put my name? What is he doing now? What do, what do y'all see that, uh, that uh, Manasseh is doing? He put a he put a. He's putting he's putting Yahweh to an open shame. He's doing everything. That's why I told Bear Watt when he said idolatry. That's the simple, easy way out right there. When you say that, because you know, idolatry is always Sabbath transgression is always in the midst of what's really going on. Well, y'all ain't even got to what's really going on yet. One part y'all do, but let's keep reading a little bit. Unless y'all look tired and y'all trying to hurry up and get through this. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to stoke y'all fires and get y'all to get activated. Come on. And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two courts of the house of Yahweh. And he made his sons pass through the fire and observe times and use enchantments. And dealt with familiar spirits. Let me ask y'all a question, because these these are y'all writings. We've been over these teachings. Where did this type of stuff? How did this stuff come about right here? And is these where are these things? Where is it recorded that these things ain't right? Hey, Enoch. Wow. You on a roll, whoever did, you on a roll. You on a roll. These are the teachings of the watchers. See, I'm trying to, I'm, we graduated past all that other stuff. Now y'all on most of them. Now, now y'all supposed to be recognizing stuff. That's all right, it don't happen right away. But when it do happen, it's good. Come on. These are the teachings of the watch. Manasseh, y'all see how false Manasseh is? Come on. You ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, moves out. Um, and he made it. No, that's sorry about that. The wizards. He wrought much wickedness in the sight of Yahweh to provoke to anger. And he set a graven image of the grove that he had made in the house. What's the grove? Good. Come on. A witch, Yahweh said to David and to Solomon his son, from this house, 
and then Yahweh which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Yahshua, would I put my name forever. Neither would I make the feet of Yahshua move any more out of the land which I gave their fathers. Only if they will observe to do according to all that I have commanded them. And according to all the law that my servant Moses commanded them. Oh, he, he called Moses his servant. Write that down. Come on. But they hearken that and Manasseh seduced them to do more evil. What do y'all see? Who did Manasseh seduce? The children of Yahshua. The king is seducing the people. How does it go with Israel? This Judah, how does it go with Israel? The people seduced the king. Come on. Y'all better write that down. Come on. And Yah was faith by his servants, the prophet, saying, The real because prophet. Because Manasseh, king of Yahweh, have done these abominations, have done wickedly above all the Amorites did, which before him, and have made Yahweh also to sin with his idols. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, Allah, I am Behold, I bring evil upon Yahweh and of Yahweh that whosoever hear of it, both his ears shall take. Wow. Come on. You see this, brother? What? Come on. And I will stretch over Yahweh along the line of Samaria and the plummet of the house of Ahab. And I will wipe Yahweh along. Uh, as wiping for dish and turning upside down, I will forsake the remnant of my inheritance and deliver them into the into the hand of their enemies, and they shall become a prey and a spoil to all their enemies because they have done evil in my sight and have provoked me to anger since the day their fathers came forth out of Egypt, even until this day. Moreover, Manasseh shed innocent blood very much. He did what? Shed innocent blood. So he had filled Yavarash Long from one end to the other. Let me ask y'all a question. Hey, Bear what? You listening? Yeah, I'm here. What is the innocent blood that Manasseh shed? Remember they found, they came back with three books when they went over in Ethiopia. We know about Jubilees and Enoch, but it's another one that's mentioned in scripture that we don't talk about that much. Isaiah, the ascension of Isaiah. I'm gonna help y'all out because I can see I can see now this ain't something that, that, that we got knowledge of as a as a, a group. Look at Hebrews 11, verse 37. Whole whole second kings, whole lamentations. We got we got work to do around here. Work call. Turn up, Israel. Come on, right. What verse? 37. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder. Stop. What? They was what? What? They was what? Read that part again, huh? Oh, they were stoned. They were sawn asunder. Son or Sunder. Now let listen. We know that you can find it uh, multiple 
uh, instances where somebody was stoned at in scriptures, correct? Right, right. But where the witness at for somebody gets getting sown asunder? And who are they talking about? And she scrolls out Isaiah, I cut in half. The Dead Sea Scrolls, where you get that from? I read it. In the Dead Sea Scrolls? I said, uh, essentially something like that. Lead us oh. with the sense. Now, I'm gonna give, we're going to give you a second to meditate on, on that. I believe, I believe it's in there. So they, I remember I told y'all I, I believe they mentioned the Dead Sea Scrolls that Isaiah got cut in half. Yeah. Remember, uh, y'all gotta remember this now. Yeah, that's what it is. Do I have anything to add to that? Might be fine. Uh, huh? You can add to that. He said that, uh, uh, that White believes that he read, uh, 11, chapter 11 of Hebrews, verse 37. He believes he read that the uh, person son asunder. Yes, these scrolls. I asked if you had anything to add to that. Oh, I think it's the Dead Sea Scrolls. Well, I've been the first one he said. Now, the Ascension. There's a there's an ancient manuscript that they found over in Ethiopia called the Ascension of Isaiah. Can't hear you. There's an ancient manuscript. That they bought back from Ethiopia when they bought back copies of Jubilees and Enoch. It's called the Ascension of Isaiah. It details some of the stuff Manasseh was doing and also how he saw uh, the prophet Isaiah in half with a wooden saw. It wasn't it, so it wasn't in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I've never read that in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay. Yeah. When did I see that? Because it must have been something that you had told me. Probably was it probably was the uh, Ascension of Isaiah because I don't have this Ascension of Isaiah. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's what we're here for. We're here, to, we're here to learn these things. I hope y'all making notes, making notes, and writing this down. Back to Second Kings now. Ain't it funny how they quoting out of these books that they keep telling us ain't scripture? That's that's yeah. what's scripture. Can we? Uh, can we is that manuscript? Can we buy that? You should be able to get it. Yeah, we got, we got it. We got copies of it. Well, then that's why I read it at then in, 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 inside inside with y'all. I don't want to tell you. I want, I'm the one asked the question. Yeah, I know. I'm just, just trying to remember. It's been so long, but yeah, I y'all all right. I, we just we building. That's all we are doing is building. Come on. Um. I don't know about y'all. This this is just me now, uh, and this excludes uh, oh. they had a, whatever whatever Sagala uh, 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 and them is studying. That's what uh, we need to be studying. They shot huh? my my Sagala and them. Woo, they tough. We got a tough women group, boy. Come on. Moreover, Manasseh shed innocent blood very much, so they had feel. Uh, I read that one over. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh and all that he did and his sin that he sinned, they not written in the book of Chronicles of the Kings of Jehovah. And Manasseh slept with his fathers. Okay, now. And was buried in the garden of his own house. Hold on. All right, hold up. I can't hear you. Hold up. I barely hear you. Can y'all hear me, Bear What? Yeah, now you can't fade out, huh? Yeah. All right, my bad. I was leaning back. Look at uh Second Kings 24 now. Verse 1 down. In his days, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up, and Jehoiakim became his servant three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him. And Yahweh sent against him bands of the Chaldees and bands of the Syrians and bands of the Moabites and bands of the children of Ammon. Hey, hey y'all see this? 
All these heathen is coming against us. These are these is all Hebrews too. The Chaldeans is Hebrews. The Syr the Syrians is the children of Ammon. The Moabites is the children of Lot. Them and Ammon. Ammon is the capital of Jordan today. That's how you know where the Moabites from. They got, and they got ancient Hebrew over there, a lot of it too. Come on. And he sent them against uh, Yahweh died to destroy it, according to the word of Yahweh, which he spake by his servants, the prophets. Surely, at the commandment of Yahweh, came upon Yahweh died to remove out of the sight, out of his sight. For the sins of Manasseh, according Whoa. to what do that mean? Now let's stop right there. Break down verse three. What did he? What did he just tell us in verse three? It says, surely at the commandment of Yahweh came upon Judah to remove out of his sight for the sins of Manasseh, Manasseh, according to all that he did. Verse 4. And also for the innocent blood that he shed, for he filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, which Yahweh would not pardon. Now, Tell me the instances that led up to this captivity. Because now, you see Jehoiakim them is over here now. Now, real quick, because I I don't want to, I want y'all to see this. Yeah, see, I got to stop leaning back. I can't hear you. Let me turn the thing towards me. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah. Do y'all understand what happened now? Is it clear to y'all what led up to this captivity? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What is that? I'm waiting. It was Nassus arrogance and selfishness and heavy and I mean not Hezekiah's arrogance and selfishness and Manassas blatant disrespect and disregard of Yahweh killing the prophet and setting up idolatry. idolatry. Yep. Yes. Right. Y'all all agree. Now can y'all see it? Yes. Yes. Sometimes instead of rushing across his enemy, just just read. That's all. That's all. That's all. We can't we can't get so uh bent on trying to cross his enemy something that we don't know. We gotta study it first, read it, get an understanding. Yes, yeah, you did ask for the for the he did ask two questions, though, and we just yes, have to give you the answer. I mean, what, what left field with it, man? Okay, you asked, you asked, you asked, you asked, you asked me and the wife. Hey, listen, you said the right thing. He gave me the answer. Him giving me the answer ain't helping everybody else know it. So I that's why we got to go on. I get that, I get that but, it, but if we wouldn't have said nothing, then you could have just took everybody to it. That's all I'm saying. I don't want uh -huh. to feel like I don't want you to feel like uh, are we trying to uh, that I'm trying to cross the jam and that it, 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 you ask a uh, question and then if you always call on us sometimes to ask questions, then you say don't say nothing sometimes. So you know, I, I felt like you need just just lay back on it and get somebody else there. Uh, I don't lay lay back. It's, it's obvious that uh everybody didn't know what didn't have no knowledge of this, so then it's time for y'all to step up. Now look, 
Here's a cardinal mistake that I want to keep y'all from making. Verse 24, 1 through 7, it deals with 60 around, let me see, 3,340 years after creation. Y'all got that? Y'all say, no. so say it again. Second Kings 24, 1 through 7. Oh, okay. Because the captivity, this captivity had how many stages to it? Is, do anybody, is anybody aware? If not, the why? It's got three different stages to it. It's got 611 and six to 608 BC. That's what's commonly referred to as the first deportation. It has 599 to 598, around 599, 598 BC, which is what the second deportation. And then we've got 586 BC, which is the which is what's called the captivity when they burned down the temple in the city of Jerusalem. So this is between y'all got that? This is for um these time of this of uh, I'm trying to get understand it for the one through seven. Yeah, when you look at chapter 24, it's dealing with different kings with the same similar sounding names and different right. times. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to help when y'all go back and read it so nobody get confused. We got to read it. We got to read it. Chapter 25. You yeah. said second, second Kings chapter 25? Yeah, I want to show y'all something real quick. Go verse one. Uh, let's, let's, let's do this. Here's something we, don't, we rarely do, but I'm going to do it now for time's sake so y'all don't be up all night. We, we, it's a promise that we're going to go over a, a teaching dealing with... Uh, this these cap this captivity right here. The fall, what's called the fall of Jerusalem. Y'all got to remind me though to make sure we we follow through with it. Just keep in mind the name Nebuzaradan. So now, what we went over so far, what is the Book of Lamentations written about? If you had to explain this to your child real quick, I would I would say something like this: uh, the Book of Lamentations. It was written so the prophecy given against Hezekiah when he allowed the Babylonians to see uh, his treasure chest, so that prophecy would be fulfilled, and also. For the blood, the innocent blood, which the man said, and he killed the prophet Isaiah. This led to, this led to the uh, destruction of the temple, the burning down of the city, and the captivity of the of Judah. That's what I. That's a quick way to surmise. But now. It's a it's a hidden teaching in Lamentations. Now let's go back to Lamentations. Y'all can't just come in the Bible in the study thinking y'all gonna y'all gotta be ready. And it's no telling what I might. Go out there. You guys in the office?
Verse 8 and 9. Chapter 1. Let's dance. <clears throat> Y'all Rosh Hashanah have grievously sinned. Therefore she is removed. All that own her despise her because they have seen her naked. What do that mean? They see her nakedness. What does that mean they seen her nakedness? They seen, they seen, they seen the murder. I mean, they seen for what it really is. They acting like savages. Look at the rest of it. Come on. Y'all taking notes? What's some of the things that made them see her naked that, that, that Judah did? They wasn't keeping the feast. They weren't keeping the Sabbath. They, they would set up a, 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 a false altar in the temple. They was worshiping idols. They was uh, killing their sons through the, with the fire. They did everything. That, uh, they was doing all the teachings of the watchers. We just read it, right? Did we not just read all of this? All right. Yeah, what was so, uh, hey. Why y'all didn't just answer it then? That's all them. It can't be. This is this ain't complex to compare to some of the stuff y'all been shown. Come on. So she was naked. Stop letting these words confuse y'all. I told y'all these y'all writings. Come on. Yay, <clears throat> yay. She sighed and turns backward. She backslid. The people of Judah backslid. Come on. Her filthiness in her skirts. Torah transgressing. Come on. And she remember not her last. She remember not her last end. Therefore, she came down wonderfully. She had no comfort. Whoa! Y'all hear that? Bear what? What you think about that? This is one of the this one of the weightier things right here. I want to see what y'all think about this. Now y'all won't answer. Y'all won't answer me. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Sure can. What y'all think about that? No, no. We don't, I don't need nobody laying back. I need to guys that get the knowledge to come on step forward. What y'all gonna do if I ain't here? Skip down no, to verse 16. Backslide. No, I said, look what it say in verse 9. It said, she had no comforter. I wanted y'all to address that. Y'all, why left? Because we was being hard headed. You no, know, he can't sit in the midst of sin. Yeah, he left. He fled. She forsaked him, so he forsaked her. Wow. Wow. No, he's sinning. He, he, he done. He dip on you for real. He's unclean. The, it ain't just sinning. What? It's the type of sinning they was doing. The, the idolatry and all, worshiping idols, doing murder, this, divination. This Same thing that's going on today. So listen. Yeah. Hey, Bear Watt, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. You ain't saying nothing. I, I gotta say your name ten times and get you to answer. Stop pouting. Hey, <laughs> listen to this. Oh, man, you good? I'm listening. I'm just listening. Now listen to this. I. It said back then when all this was going on, they was worshiping idols. Y'all gotta listen at the point. Innocent blood was being shed. Abortions by offering up the children to the fire. Y'all see this? They was doing tarot card reading. They was doing all that kind of stuff. Ecclesiastes 1, 8 and 9 says what's happened before going to happen again. No new thing under the sun. It's the same thing happening today. No comforter. Why would he want to be in the midst of the stuff going on 
in D.C., in Detroit, Cleveland, God forbid, Chicago. We know ain't no God. He ain't going to be never. Y'all listening? Why would he want to be in the midst of that? Meditate. Verse 16. <clears throat> For these I weep. Mine eye, mine eye, run them down with water, because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. My children are desolate because the enemy prevailed. Who's the enemy? Y'all med meditating on this? The, the enemy is who? Hashatan, right? Who's the comforter? Huh? Who's the comforter? No, not the, we know who the comforter is. That's what I said, said who's who the is? adversary? Oh, I, 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 my question is, I'm curious. I'm asking the question, who's the comforter? The comfort is the, the Holy Spirit, huh? But you, you know the Holy Spirit wasn't just poured out in, in John, huh? <laughs> right. I, I, I just, so been, this was asking a rhetorical question, to be honest, because... Okay, yeah. yeah he's yeah, telling yeah. you the, the Holy... I'm not with y'all. Yeah. We're in chapter two, huh? Verse five. What verse? Chapter two, verse five. Okay. And y'all, <clears throat> y'all was as was as an enemy. He has swallowed up Yasharal. He has swallowed up all her palaces. And he has destroyed his strongholds and have increased <clears throat> in the daughter of Yahweh mourning and lamentation. And he has violently taken away his tabernacle as, as a garden. He has destroyed his places of the assembly. Yahweh have caused the solemn feast and Sabbath to be forgotten in Zion. You see this? What do that represent, Barry Watt? Anybody, the what? They might need you. They might need you for this one, big boy. Spiritual death. But who? He's, look! Look what he said. He said he has did what he has caused. What? He's, he he caused. He has caused the salt, peace, and savage to be forgotten. So let me ask you this, Barry Watt. Y'all listening, Sagala, my child? We keep blaming the heathen for stripping us of our identity, history, language, and culture, causing us to forget. Remember, Yahweh allowed them to do it. He used them as vessels. Meditate on, on that. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Hey, can I say something? Yep. Yeah. We in the midst of a high teaching, high teachings. Come on. He definitely mentioned that in scripture, you know, that uh, he put us in captivity. He put us in captivity. He said, I will break, even with all of these people, I'm going to break this nation from far. Come on. We rolling now, y'all. I'm woke up now. What? I can't hear. I can't hear. You got to sit up straight. I, I, said, <laughs> I said, let's go. We rolling now, y'all. woke up. <laughs> you know, did, did you hear what Kalam said? Huh? You can't hear me. You gotta sit up straight, man. I'm sitting up straight. <laughs> you leaning back, man. No, your teacher used to tell you in school when you was little, man. Sit up straight. Come on, I uh uh spy and the Lord have cut. Yahweh has cast off his altar. No. 
and have despised the indignation of his anger, the king and the priests. Yahweh have cast off his altar, he have abhorred his sanctuary. He have given up into the hand of the enemy the walls of her palaces. They have made a noise in the house of Yahweh, as is as in the day of a song feast. Everybody crying now because all the deaths and all the bad things happen. Come on. Yahweh have purpose to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion. He has stretched out a line. He has not withdrawn his hand from the storm. Therefore, he made he made the rampart and the wall to lament. They languished together. Come on. Oh, keep on. Her gates are sunk into the ground. He have destroyed and hey, broken. Hey, listen, this represent how part of Detroit look over over on one end of Detroit where they get all them abandoned uh, properties at. The gates are sunk low. I don't know how many of y'all besides uh my show. I got, I got a lot of family out there. Come on. These are cities. Y'all got y'all got mad to on what he's saying. Come on. Look. It's a it's a sham up in all of New Jersey too. It's despicable looking up there too in a lot of places. Come on. He yeah, had purpose to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion. Now listen, hold up. I got I need y'all to catch this. Go ahead. Go ahead. He it oh. says it says he has destroyed and broken. Hey, Tagala, who is the he that's destroyed and broken? Come on. Her king and her princes among the Gentiles. The law no more. The law no. Her prophets also find no vision. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground and keep silence. Come on. Her king, <clears throat> her king and her princes among the Gentiles, the law no more. Her prophets also find no vision from Yahweh. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground, keep silence. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Yahweh Shalom hang down their heads to the ground. My eyes do fail my tears. My bowels are troubled. Listen, just hold up. Read verse 10 again. I hope y'all see this. Right? The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground. This rep listen, this represents the old heads when they out when they sitting around on the porch and on the street corners, on the curb. Come on. Uh keep silence. They have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Yahweh Rosh hang down their heads to the ground. Isaiah 3, 16 through 26. Titus 2, 3 through 5. Come on. Witnesses. My eyes do fail with tears. My bowels are troubled. Uh, my liver is poured upon the earth for the destruction of, of the daughter of my people. Because the children and the suckling swoon in the, swoon in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers. What does that mean, the ch children and the suckling? Come on. They say to their mothers. Wear corn and wine. When they swoon as the wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul was poured, when their soul was poured out into their mothers, into their mother's bosom. 
What thing shall I take to witness for thee? What thing shall I liken to thee? O daughter of Yahweh Shalom, what shall I equal to thee that I may come for thee? Let's look at let's look at verse 12 again. I yeah, I see this. They say to their mothers, Where corn and wine? When they when they swoon as the wounded in the streets of the city with their when their soul was poured out into the mother's bosom. Look, what do that mean when the soul is poured out into their mother's bosom? Come on, y'all. Y'all see this? I DC, Baltimore, Cleveland, Detroit. When the children, when the boys is getting killed on the street. And their mama right there, some of us happening right on their porch, right in front of their house, around the corner. And the mama grabbed them and start trying to bring, bring them back to life through crime. The souls is poured out right there in front of us. Come on. Y'all know I ain't lying. Come on. What thing shall I take to witness for thee? What thing shall I liken to thee? O daughter of Yahweh Rasulam. What shall I equal to thee that I, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? For thy breach is great, let me see. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. For the breach is is great like the sea who can heal thee they thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee and they have not discovered thy iniquity to turn hold away on. hold on what do y'all see this act keep going oh which... yeah oh you stop me man no thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee and they have not discovered thy iniquity. What's the what's the iniquity? Come on. To turn away thy captivity. So when you when, listen, y'all need to make a note of this. When you discover your iniquity, you're supposed to take uh, steps to make it go away, meaning repent and, and, and do the right works. Come on. Uh <clears throat> Thy image, hold on. Sorry. To turn away the captivity, but have seen for the false burdens and causes of banishment. I.e., listen to this. This is what leads to captivity. I.e., foreign worship, Christmas, Arab worship, black man worship. These are false burdens which lead to causes of banishment or captivity for the children of Israel. Look down at verse 18 now. Y'all know I ain't lying. Um, their heart crying unto Yahweh. O wall of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give thyself no rest. Let not the apple of thine eye cease. Arise. Oh, oh y'all might want to make a note of that. He called Israel the apple of his eye. How you like that, Maya Shaw? More. Arise, uh, yeah, arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the, in the beginning of the watch is poor. In the beginning of the watch is poor out thy heart like water before the face of Yahweh. Lift up thy hands toward him. For the life of thy young children, 
that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Behold, O Yahweh, and consider to whom thou has done this. Shall the women eat their fruit? Children of a span long? Shall the priests and the prophets be slain in the sanctuary of Yahweh? The young. Know what they're talking about? Uh, Bear what the what? Y'all see what they're talking about? He says, "Shall the women eat their fruit? Children of span long. Shall the prophet, shall the priest and prophet be slain in the sanctuary? Remember what happened in the Bible study in South Carolina?" <laughs> Oh, mind. Are you talking about Isaiah getting killed? I mean, that's a prophet. No, not that. Yeah. This when a, they, uh, the, the siege. Look I mean, what he said about the women. Yeah, the siege when the women was eating the kids and stuff. That's what I'm looking for. See how you, now you know somebody's studying now. Look, he's going right, getting right to the point. Come on. Which chapter three now. There's more stuff going on. Look at verse eight. Chapter three, verse eight. Wait till y'all see this. What y'all, hey, listen. If they doing all this crime back then when the city got destroyed, what you think they was doing in West Africa when they was kidnapping? See this? Bear walk, y'all see this? Dollar? the secret relationship between lamentations in West Africa. It was a lot of screaming and hollering and mourning going on. Come on. They was tearing families apart, raping, all kind of stuff was going on. Come on. What verse you on? Huh? Chapter three, verse eight. Eight. Also, when I cry and shout, he shut up out my prayer. Stop. What do this mean? I don't hear the. No, no, no hold hmm. up. Listen, y'all got to tell me something more to say prayers. What did this, what do this what do this mean? He said, when I cry and shout, he shuts out my prayer. Who has the ability to shut out our prayers? Yahuwah. So what does this mean? What led him to this point? All the iniquity that was going on. Well, y'all, hey, y'all ought to thank Yahweh for the why that he's finally uh, speaking up. It says when you when you conduct yourself on a Proverbs twenty eight nine movement, go to Proverbs twenty eight real quick, verse nine. I'm trying to give it to y'all. I'm the bad guy, though. Everybody mad at me because I'm asking a few questions. You, Sister Tad, you hear this? I'm here. You should be learning because this, y'all, I'm pouring it at y'all. He that turns away his ear from hearing the law. Even his prayer, abomination. Now, now you, hey, Brad, what you hear that? Watch this. So, if you committing, you sacrificing the children. That represents what? Abortions, right? If you committing idolatry, if you feast transgression, if you Sabbath transgression, if you doing shed innocent blood. If you following the teachings of the watchers, 
Those are iniquities. This causes Yahweh to shut your prayers up. Now the good, good people can be praying for you, you at least hear them. Y'all gotta meditate on this. It's a bunch of witnesses to this. Remember, y'all all agreed that he can't be in the midst of sin. He not only can he, he gonna shut you down. Watch this. Chapter five. Matter of fact, read verse 40 of chapter 3. See if y'all catch this. Verse 40. Let us search and try our ways and turn again to Yahweh. What does that mean? Repent and start doing right. Woo! You on fire tonight, girl. Woo! Man. You brought her study spirit today. All right, watch this. Man, so much, man. Look at us. Uh, man, this is deep. Man, I don't even know where to go. With. I'm looking at my man. This is man. It's deep. Look at uh, twelve down, chapter four, verse twelve. Down. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world will not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. Listen, whoever would have thought that? That's why I like that Bear Walk them run the service. They ain't, we ain't just taking anything in. Ain't no comments you are. You coming in, you have, you playing music, you doing all kind of foolishness, you, you hitting on women. You, we ain't doing none of that. So you ain't even entering into the gates right here. You got to get yourself together. Come on. For the sins of her prophets, the iniquities of her priests, that have shed the blood of the just and the midst of her, that have wandered as blind in the streets, that have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. They cry unto them, depart ye, unclean, depart, depart, touch not. When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, they shall no more sojourn. The anger of Yahweh had divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. What do they sound like? Right now, today, our youth, they, they don't respect uh, spiritual. They don't respect the elderly. They don't respect Yahweh. They don't respect nothing. All they, they tongue and they doing is against Yahweh. Come on. As for us, our eyes as yet filled for our vain help and our watching we have watched for a nation who could not save us that could not save they hunt our steps that Listen, we cannot the united states the united states can't save us can nobody save us but y'all why hey bear what how you like that come on they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets our end is near our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They Watch pursued this. us. They pursued us it's upon the mountains. You see this? They pursued us wherever we turn to. This represent back in, in the slavery times. Then 
plantation. Whenever we get out of one district, pick ourselves up as a people, we started going to school, getting property. We built things like the city in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Greenwood District. Soon as they saw us trying to get out of the, from under their slavery, they started lynching us and doing stuff, passing laws to keep us back on the bottom. They have always wanted to keep us enslaved. Trust me. Come on. They lay wait for us in the wilderness. Listen, the this represents the, tra the traps they were setting and also the physical weight. People were trying to take the back roads to get from down south because I was uh, taught at a young age as, as a little boy uh, from the grandparents and stuff uh, when, they, when they left the south. One one of the sisters and her husband would, would stop and, and, and generally over in Cleveland or Cincinnati. One would stop in Detroit, uh, and the other one would go to Chicago. That's how the whole Midwest got populated. But they they took the back road because the Klansmen and all them was it was looking for them. The police was working with them. They was Klansmen, the judges, and they announced all of the people that they supposed to have so called uh, caught doing wrong. If they was gonna lynch them, they they made these announcements in their Christian uh, church on Sunday. Y'all meditate on this. I made a picnic. If they did, they had celebrations. They sold the uh, if they cut off your, the male's genitals and, and, and his uh, penis or anything, they had auctions for that. Come on, it's in the history book. We one thing about us, we study. We gonna study. You ain't gonna have study. Come on. The breath of our nostrils, the anointing of Yahweh, the anointed of Yahweh, was taken in their pits, of whom we said, under his shadow, we shall live among the heathen. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Eve, that dwellest in the land of Ud. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry oh, thee away. Read that again, I, O daughter of who? Of Zion, Zion. Your, your Bible says Zion? Oh, okay, it's too much time, my bad, come on. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Chapter five, we can really close out now. Watch this. One down. Remember, O Yahweh, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Stop, our houses stop, stop. Hey, hey, bear what? Please tell me that y'all understand that verse. They say our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our house is to aliens. What in the world is that, that verse saying? I'm going to give y'all a second to meditate on it. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that represent what uh, Revelation 2 and 9 and Revelation 3 and 9 says? Woo! Somebody else on fire. I love it. I love it. Let the spirit rule. Come on. And also, you know, just, you know, as you were ministering to us on this evening, you know, something else that came up to me is uh, Second Chronicles chapter 36 explains why they went to captivity and things and it, why they became my word. And it's yes. right there. Right there in the scriptures, just right there before us, Wait, waiting to be read and understood. That's right. You know, hey, you, you in there talking about Jeremiah, and it, it just confirms everything that you said. Uh, yeah, you know? come on. Yep. I love it. Yep. So, uh, if everyone has an opportunity to uh, read Second Chronicles, chapter thirty-six, it's right there. Everything that you're talking about you know, the building and the house in Jerusalem and everything. Why we became a byword is because we were disobedient, you know.
We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers as widows. What do this mean? Let's, let's break it down, y'all. Come on, we there. We working. Who is the we? Israel. What do that mean? And he said, we orphans and fathers. Our fathers being taken from us. The men either, being taken away. Either they, either they damned by drugs, by, by violence, or, going to or they, they riding away in prison. This, this is, listen, these is y'all teachings. Y'all supposed to be flourishing with this. Come on. Check this out. Not to mention the turf wars and slavery. Come on. We have drunk in our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks under persecution. We labor, have no rest. We have given the hand the Egyptians, the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Our when fathers it, have sinned. Listen, when they say, listen, when they say we labor with no rest, what do y'all see? Slavery. Working like a Hebrew slave. Look, not owning our own businesses and spending our money with foreigners and they won't spend with us. Meditate on that. Our fathers have sinned not, and we have borne their iniquities. Wait a minute. You see that? What that mean? Generational curses. Wow. Wow. Come on. Servants have ruled over us. What that, that mean? The roles are reversed. Yeah, hey, no listen. Hey, Sagala, y'all yeah. never knew this much was in Lamentations, did y'all? Huh. Come on. None that doth deliver out of their hand. We got our bread with our lives because of the sword of the wilderness. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. They ravished the women in Zion, the maids in the cities of Yahawadah. What do that mean? Verse 11. Our women will be taken by the oppressor. They were being raped. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was gonna say the curse of Deuteronomy. And, you know, they would take our wives or our, you know, husbands. All this in this little passage in, in Lamentations. Look at Psalms chapter 2. We almost there. We got a couple verses. I love it. Verse one down. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Y'all remember this? Where this come from? What was this quoted at under grace? Ain't this in Acts 4, 25 and 26? Y'all remember this? But they talking about the Old Testament done away with. He said, why do the heathen rage and the people assemble or meditate on a vain thing? Come on. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh. What? And against Hold up. They taking counsel against what? Against the most high and against his anointing. So what would y'all say the Psalms 2 conspiracy is? Um, 
Excuse me? You said, say it again? What would y'all say the Psalms 2 rep, uh, the Psalms 2 conspiracy represents? Or what is it about? Uh, it sounds like, it reminds me of Psalms 83. It talks about they take counsel together. It's a different thing, though. That, that was my next question. It's different, though. Let's finish reading. Let's see if you see this. Come on, Dwight. And against his anointed. Let us break the Wait a minute. Bones. Hold up. Who is this anointed? Oh, come on, y'all. Uh. No, it says against his Marsha Yark, huh? Hey, bro, what? This is, oh, Marcia, yeah. Marcia. This, this against his, this against Marcia. Yeah. Do y'all see it yet? This against the anointed savior of mankind. Come on, wait, let's see y'all, let's see if y'all gonna see this. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away Break who pool. band? Hold up. Break whose bands asunder? Right. Who? The Most High and His Son, Hamashiach. How do you do that? What are they trying to separate to cause us to not trust or believe in them? It's instruction. It's something specific, though. Keep reading. And cast That's away the I cord. gotta do it like this. I know it seems like I'm being the picky, and it ain't. Y'all gotta see this. Come on. And cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Hey, y'all want to laugh at that mess. Come on. The master shall have them in derision. Come on. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. Yahweh has said unto me, Thou, my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give the heathen thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Man, Be wise. On, this is deep. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and ye perish the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed all they that put their trust in him. Do y'all see what it is that they, what this conspiracy is against? Look at 1 John 5, Mark. This is what y'all got to see. I thought y'all would have seen it. 1 John 5. I get a joy when y'all be seeing this stuff. This is crazy right here, man. Not crazy, I mean, this is hot. Look at verse 7. For well, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father. Yahweh. The, the Word. The Ruach HaKadosh. And the Ruach HaKadosh. Oh, forgive me. You say the Father, the Word? Yeah. The Word is the uh, Yahweh made flesh. This is Mashayat. And the Ruach HaKadosh. And these three are one. What are they trying to, what is the conspiracy against now? Do y'all see it? It kept saying, let us break their cords. And, uh, let us break their bands and cast their cords from, from us. Yeah. They take a counsel against Yahweh and against his Masha Yah. Right. What is they trying to, what are they conspiring against? Psalms 2 
is the conspiracy against Yahweh and Yahweh she to cast doubt on the oneness. That's the biggest teaching that Islam got and the Jews got. The Christian church believe this with every fight where they been. And they right. I'm, I stand with them. Where they right at, I stand with them. It's just they stay wrong about so much. Do y'all see it? Yeah. Now, she brought up the Psalms 83 conspiracy. That's different. That's against us, the people. Let us cut them off that the nation of Israel may be no more on remembrance. That's against us, the people. Y'all got to meditate on this, all right? I, hope, I want y'all to see this. We got any questions? No questions? Oh. Got none, uh. Well, I guess that must have been a fine piece of work then. I see it. I like the um the breakdown of meditations. Like I was saying, I had read it before, but you know, both of those verses there taking right at chapter three and bring the you know, parallels definitely about uh, you know the condition of our people. It just really brings it home. Nothing new under the sun. I'm sorry. Nothing new under the sun. That's I, all I'm saying. Everything is happening now. Yeah, nothing new under the sun. That's all I was saying. Was that too rough on y'all tonight? It's not, it's not that, um, if I could just speak openly, it's not that um, you're, you're too rough. I think that sometimes you look for an answer and, you know, you just want us to really get it. But I think sometimes that it kind of like freezes you up a little because you're trying to, you know, make the connection to what you're trying to say. So, you know, and I can see the most high moving because sometimes he um he has you to be a little uh, you know, to back up and give us a little uh space to be able to think a little bit. So sometimes it may take I know for me, let me just speak for me. Sometimes it takes a little bit for me to process things and you know and to really think about it and make the connections for myself. And I just want to say as well, you know, um, it's a beautiful thing to be able to study together. And, um, you know, I believe that this is a family. And as family, you know, we're going to, I know um, we used to call sometimes when we have discussion and dialogue, it's like we have amongst the study group. It may seem like that there's, you know, there's aggression and this and that. But um, one thing I do like is that, you know, we have our say and then we move on. And so I thank the most high for that. And I think it's just a lot of character building here right now, helping us to be patient with each other. But yet, I like the way you still will come back and say, you know, we're learning together. We're learning together. But I think I believe that it's your zeal to want us to, to know what the most high has given to you. And that's what I remind myself of sometimes. You know, I just went, like, okay, all right. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I have to remember that you just have a seal for, you know, wanting to spread the truth. So that's what helps me to learn to be patient as well. 
Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, sometimes I'd be a jerk because y'all so good, though. Y'all y'all really get it. And, uh, well, sometimes we don't, you know, and, and that's the part that, you know, because, I, I mean, for me, sometimes if it is aggression, for me, I'm going to fall back, you know, because I'm like, oh, okay, let me, let me just be quiet, you know. But, but the, the aggression is never with the women, folks. It's always with uh, Barry Walk and Dwight and Kala. Y'all ain't never noticed that's where the aggression comes at. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't can, like that neither. I can get like that. Yeah, too. Hold on. You said, Sister Ty. I said, but I don't like that neither. Oh, the aggression? When you be aggressive with them also. I'm just no, being no, honest. They, I had a conversation about that. They, but see, they, they, got, they sometimes they are too laid back. And it causes, we don't want to stagnate when we when the spirit move. Once, once there's been a minute uh, don't bypass and nobody answered it, it's uh it's about time for them to intercede. And, and uh, that's what I sometimes tell them don't don't allow two long lapses. Y'all can step in and answer, help them. You know, that's all. about that. You know, I don't control the button over here in our house. So sometimes I'm talking and you know, I have to wait for my husband to unmute, and by the time it goes on, it has already gotten to the point where I don't hear nobody answering, and I'm like, oh, goodness, unmute the voice. Sometimes I'll be doing other things, too, uh, within the... I know that's what I, I told you the other day, you know, uh, stay with me so you can hear me. Now that's that, what I'm talking about. I'm, it's beating stuff. It's... it's Dealing with the class, I tell y'all being in in the, in the chat and YouTube too. I know, but that they don't they don't clear the what? They don't clear collab. That's what that's all I'm saying. Y'all is elders for a reason. Uh, Sister Tap, please don't have a false compassion for them. They they is really good, and uh, I just want people to see that they really good. And sometimes uh, they they a little too uh, laid back. Me, I'm a, I'm aggressive by nature, but it's it's kept us uh, together and kept a lot of foolishness away from us because of that. I'm a, uh, I'm gonna. I want to address it. You sweet old man. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me go off live real quick. Um, Masia, can you can you uh, cut the live off or you can't? You don't have access to that, do you? Um, no, because I can you see the screen where I click yeah. more? Uh, in the chat, closed caption. For uh, don't see nothing about live stream. All right. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't see it. All right. All right. Let me uh, come back in. All right. So no more questions. Thank you. New laptop up. in the chat. Thank you, uh, people that's in the chat. It's two or three people. Thank you for coming. Uh, welcome back next time. Ask for the Zoom link. See you guys soon. <laughs>